This is the third video in our top injector seal video for your 6 liter diesel. In this video we're going to show you how to replace your top injector seal uh, doing a full C-clip removal outside of the truck. Depending on whether your uh, C-clips are aftermarket or OEM, some of those C-clips can be really hard to get out. Um, there are a few different types on the market. OEM, the OEM ones don't really have an edge to grab onto because um, you can kind of do it by grabbing the edge of that C-clip and prying it out especially with uh, like the Boss Tech C-clips uh, some of the Alliant Power C-clips they have a nice edge there where you can just grab it with a screwdriver and pop it right out but a lot of the new OEM ones just have a straight edge and they are impossible to take out using the screwdriver method um, so we're going to show you how to do it pretty easily uh, also using a screwdriver but not trying to grab that edge um, so what you're going to need here, you're going to want a little angle pick to pull the old seal out and then you're going to need a little like, a, like an eyeglass screwdriver. Something like that or something like that. Something that you can get down, basically going to go into the back of the C-clip. You're going to pop that into that channel so that it pops out. So you're going to want uh, some sort of little eyeglass screwdriver. Most people have these little cheesy metal ones. That one will probably work, but if not, use what you got. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the old seal. Just basically stick the, the end of the pick in between the bevel top washer and the seal and then grab the edge and pry it out. They come out fairly easily. like so and then we're going to push that beveled washer down so that it's not in the way of the C-clip we don't damage it and then what he's doing here is basically tapping the screwdriver into the back side of the C-clip And he, he just made that look really easy. Alright, this is going to be the screwdriver method of removing the C-clip. And uh, you can only do this if you've got a nice sharp edge to grab onto on your clip. Uh, certain manufacturers have better clips than others. What you're going to use is a, a pick or another small screwdriver to hold the C-clip in place. Then you're going to use another a little small screwdriver to grab the edge of that clip and kind of catch it and pry it out, okay? So I'm using this pick to hold it in place and I'm going to grab the edge with the screwdriver. And kind of, once you get it bent a little bit, it'll kind of deform by itself, uh, but you're kind of trying to pry it up and down into the injector bore. It's a lot easier to pry it up and down than pry it up and out. Uh, once you get it out like that, you can kind of just grab it. Pull it out like so, and it'll probably fly out into the distance like so. In this video, we're gonna show you how to take a top injector C-clip out of a six liter fuel injector using a center punch. Uh, some of the OEM, uh, OEM C-clips are very hard to get out and they're in there really tight. There's not really an edge to grab onto and uh, they're in there tight enough that it's almost impossible to grab the edge with a screwdriver. Um, if you want to replace them, I would recommend using Alliant Power or HHC diesel C-clips that have a little end you can grab with a screwdriver. Uh, highly recommended that you replace them with easier ones to take out. Um, as far as a uh, center punch goes, you can get a, a nice five set from Fowler for about 10 bucks on Amazon. We'll put a link down in the description below. Um, you're gonna wanna use the 3 inch one. And basically what we're gonna do is come to the back side of the C-clip on the opposite side of the opening. And we're just gonna come at like a, like a 35 degree angle, like that. We're just gonna tap it in 
give it one solid tap and then check and see if uh, you got anywhere. Sometimes all it takes is one tap. Sometimes you have to tap it a couple times. We're going to come back to our same point and tap it again. And that time it just popped right out. So, that, that way's not too bad, but you want to make sure you don't damage the internal bore, the o ring surface on the inside of the injector there. You want to be careful with that. Once the top seal is out, you're going to want to pull that beveled washer out. Sometimes I like to fight you. I can do it with my pinky. I just stick my pinky in it pulls right out. Um, if you have big fingers, uh, use a pick or a screwdriver. So now you're going to want to clean the bore really good. Make sure there's no foreign matter in there, no little bits of rubber, nothing that's going to contaminate the final seal. So use some sort of lint-free cloth or a lint-free paper towel. And you also want to look down in the bottom bore. Sometimes you get little bits of like injector zip tie or even little bits of metal down in there. Basically just want to get all foreign matter out of the equation. And we've been soaking our top seal in clean engine oil there. And we're going to go ahead and put the top seal in. Plenty of engine oil on everything. I always want to use plenty of engine oil. Now we'll put our beveled washer in. Make sure you go bevel side up. That bevel helps guide the nipple into the injector. And now we'll take our C-clip and we're just going to set, start one edge in and then depending on which manufacturer's C-clip you have, uh, sometimes you can just push them down with your thumb. Sometimes you have to use a tool to help uh, work it down. And that's it. Just uh, And then uh, once you're done, go ahead and uh, slide the slide the C-clip around a little bit to make sure it is fully seated. Like that. And then if you've done it right, the top nipple should just slide right in. And you're good to go there. There are other methods of getting that C-clip out. Um, you can use the double screwdriver method to grab uh, one edge of the C-clip and pry it out. Uh, we'll put a link to a video doing it that way. Uh, you can do the Alliant Power method where you use a sharp center punch and uh, pound on the back side of the C-clip to deform it. Um, there's different methods. Different methods work better for different people. If you don't want to mess with that, watch the second video on doing it without taking that C-clip C -clip out. Honestly, um, that's probably the easiest way to do it as long as you're not poking your, your seal and putting little nicks and scratches in the seal, it's perfectly acceptable. So make sure you check out the links in the description below, links to all the parts, all the tools, and all the other videos in the series, and make sure you like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, check out our website as well.